everyone, it's Jess from Blooming Solitude. Uh, in today's video we will be doing the colouring part of this butterfly. Um, it's part of a collection that I'm making of 30 Australian butterflies for a clip art set that I'm making for my shop. Um, this one's the first one and in part one of this video I actually did all the line art um, the inking stage so I will link to that video up above here if you want to go and watch that one I would really appreciate it um, so in that in part one I did all the line art and did all the details and I had originally planned to create this artwork or this whole clip art collection in colored pencils because I just love the way colored pencils look and I am a colored pencil artist at heart. Um, the only problem is I have a lot of RSI in my hands and so using colored pencils really hurts my hands after a while and I decided to do this set in um, Photoshop this time because uh, I don't think I'll be able to make it through 30 butterflies uh, with my hands the way they are. So I'm going to attempt doing it in Photoshop. It's not my, um, like it's, I'm not so good at Photoshop as I am with colored pencils. But I'm going to try and we'll see how it goes. I imagine by the end of the set, when I do number 30 of the butterflies, I should be pretty good at it by then, I hope. <laughs> uh, if not, it will definitely be improved from the first one at least. So I'm just using Photoshop, just the normal Creative Cloud Photoshop. Uh, and the brushes I'm using is from RM Art Pastel. Or it's an RM Art Pastel brush by RM on Creative Market. And I just love their brush set. I pretty much use it for everything. Um, I've used the same brush for the line art as I am with the coloring. It's I've modified it slightly. I changed the texture, um, just the amount of texture in it a little bit and just changed some of the settings, but straight out of the box. It's such a beautiful brush to work with and it has such a lovely texture. So I highly recommend having a look at that. Um, and trying it out for yourself. I yeah, I think I said I'll, I'll put it in, a link in the description below for you. So for the inking, I love doing really detailed line art. Um, I love all the texture bits on the little strokes and the dots and just the little random marks um, that you find in traditional illustrations. I just love how much texture it brings and interest. Um, so I kind of like to recreate that in Photoshop as well. Um, and then I just color in underneath the line art that I made in the first video. So I usually just start with the flat colors and then gradually build up details and uh, color pick to spread my colors out. Um, it's quite different from using colored pencils, so it's a bit of an adjustment for me. But hopefully, I hope I get better at it. <laughs> the reference I'm using is a reference that I found on the James Cook University Australia website. Um, they have a, an abundance of Australian species uh, of all the butterflies and they've got fish and birds and flora and fauna and mammals and they have their scientific names so it's a great resource uh, if you want to um, do any illustrations of wildlife um, so most of my references I have sourced from there um, this butterfly in particular is called a Graphium maclarianus also known as the Mac, oh, Maclay's Swallowtail. I'm so sorry if I have got that name completely wrong. I'm not so good at pronouncing stuff. 
but yes I'll put links in the description below to that reference and um, I'll also post the reference up on the screen here so that you can see its progress So over the 30 illustrations that I'll be making, I'll be experimenting with different kind of color styles and coloring in techniques. Um, I'll probably get used to using the adjustment layers and things like that. So I imagine the last butterfly will look different to the first butterfly, um, but hopefully they will still come uh, be cohesive as a whole as it is going to be a part of a collection. I usually start my pieces with um, a layer of um, like a watercolor paper or a texture paper because uh, I like the the feeling it gives me it gives more texture to when I'm drawing um, it makes me feel like I'm doing traditional art rather than digital art um, so the papers I'm using is um, by Vlante Tigay and she does the most amazing brush sets and paper textures. Uh, I'll link to the description. I'll link to her product in the description below. Um, so I actually forgot to put the paper texture on this time until the end. <laughs> um, so you'll see towards the end that I'll place the paper texture down and it just really brings it to life. I really love the way it looks with all the little fine granulated textures of the paper. And then towards the end I like to colour in the line art as well. Um, so once all the details are in and I'm happy with how it's looking I will start to play around with the line art layer and just change the colors. I like to experiment and try several different colors and just see what works. Um, just have some fun with it. Um, try some bright colors, try some light colors and then try some dark colors and just see, see what works with the artwork and see what brings certain elements to life and uh, de deepen it uh, as well so I do try several different colors and then work with it sometimes well in this piece I change the colors of the inside parts and then on the outside part of their illustration I change it to like a darker color um, basically just experimenting and see what looks the nicest um, and what benefits the drawing the most because I do find especially when working with darker colors is a lot of the line art gets lost so it's nice to be able to color the line art to bring that back out again and I also forgot to add um, or I forgot to record at the end I like adding little texture dots and like sparkle elements to my pieces and I thought I'd finished this piece and I stopped recording and then I realized I didn't add the dots so I'm really sorry I didn't record that part but I will show you a picture of it at the end so you can see what it looks like but basically it's just me adding dots all over it and I, I don't know why but the adding the dots just is so satisfying to me I really love how that how it all turns out I think in the next piece um, for butterfly number two I'll definitely add a lot more highlighting details um, and try and replicate colored pencils a bit more in the artwork I just working with colored pencils is so satisfying to me so I would really like to replicate that in Photoshop even though I know digital art is meant to be an art form of its own I really do just love the nature of colored pencils and so if I can try and duplicate that or replicate it as much as I can in Photoshop that would make me really happy so I hope you like this video if you 
Uh, I'm still trying different styles of videos. Um, as I mentioned in my other video of the with the lineup part one, um, I'm trying different things. So if a shorter time lapse video with voiceover is like better for you, please let me know in the comments. I'm always trying to make different kinds of videos to uh, make it more engaging to watch for my viewers. Um, so if you have any ideas or ways I can make my videos better for you guys, please let me know. Uh, I'm happy to create all different kinds of videos and see how it works and um, get better at them. I'm still learning the whole YouTube process. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any feedback. I'd love to hear it. In the meantime, I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next one. Bye!